Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please push that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that I put up. Um, if you're new, I'm a fluid artist. My name is Patty, and I have over 100 videos on fluid art, different techniques. So today, I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour on photo paper. So if you're interested in learning how to pour on photo paper, look back at one of my videos. Um, I tell you how to make this platform, and I tell you all about it. Um, this is Canon photo paper, and it sticks over the edge of the platform just a little bit all the way around. So that's what I'm going to be pouring on. And the colors I'm using today are Golden Pearl White mixed with Creative Inspirations Pearl. This one is Golden Magenta with, um, it's a color shift. It's a couple different pinks in there, magentas. You can see it has a shift twinkle to it. This one is Golden's Iron Oxide, red transparent. I love my oranges. This one is Bone Black from Golden. And this one is Golden Turquoise mixed with, um, what is it, PBO Blue Green. I am going to put a little bit of this Obsidian um, Extreme Sheen from Deco Art, a little bit on the bottom. And then the white is going to be my base. This is a mix of my Pearl Pour recipe and Handy Art White. I just had it laying around, so I thought, well, I'm going to just use it as my base. I don't expect any pearls to come up because my paints, uh, it's going to be too thick for anything to happen. I'm not going to be tilting. So I just had it around. I thought, well, I'm going to just use it up. So that's my base. So let's get going here. So when it comes to Dutch pours, it's one of the hardest techniques to do. I rarely can do a Dutch pour and not have to touch it after. So I just sort of expect it to be like that. Uh, I think other people have the same problem. Your paints need to be really thin. They don't leave a mound. The paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. Probably 50-50. Some people mix the paints with just water. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Oh, I'm going to be using this hair dryer. It has a high and a low speed. I mean, it's not a speed, it's high and low heat. So I just put on a low heat. Speed's the same. It's pretty powerful. All right, let's get going with the white first. I'm not going to worry about that. That's all going to be covered. There's a little a lot of bubbles in it compared to just using the handy white. If I'm going to tilt this, I'll tilt it a little bit. I don't have a whole lot of this white, so I'll try to keep it on as much as I can. I'm going to be, um, I'm not blowing the white over the colors, but I will be putting the white on the outside of where I lay the colors down just to make sure they flow nicely. So you want to make sure you have enough paint for the colors to do that. And you want to make sure your paints are thick, uh, thin enough. So when it dries, you're, you might have some thick areas. You don't want it cracking. And you want it to flatten out. So if you have GAC 800 on hand, you can go ahead and throw that in with your colors and your white. And just remember, don't, don't put it under a fan. 
to dry. Believe me, I am no expert on Dutch pours. I don't do them that often. I really like them. I just, I don't know, I do, I've been doing a lot of pearl pours and I like swipes. And that's just my preference. I think the Dutch pours are beautiful, but there's not a whole lot you can do with them. They all pretty much look the same because when it doesn't look the same, then you think you messed up. So it's all in the artist's eyes, really. If you've never seen a Dutch pour before, before and I do this and it doesn't look like your normal Dutch pour, you're going to think, oh, that's really crappy. But someone, I mean, if you haven't seen it before, you might have a different eye on it. All right, let's start laying the colors. I want to go with extreme sheen first because I know how it can take over but I don't want a whole lot so that's good enough I want to go with the blue go right over it and then the, p the white no the pink side black I don't want a whole lot of that black it's very thin okay I think that's it going to pour a little bit more white on the outside. Helps it along. Go ahead and torch. Got a lot of bubbles in there. Now you pray to the to the Dutch poor gods that you do it right. Okay, here we go. I'll start start in the middle. This hair dryer is very awkward for me. I thought there was something in there. Yeah, very awkward. I didn't, I wanted to do it underneath and then it just didn't feel right. Um, so let's see how this turns out. I like it selling, 
I need to do something right here. It's not working here. All right, I, I'm gonna have to blow it here. I always have to do something. I, I think I wanna put a little bit more color here. I'm afraid if I blow it, it's not gonna turn out without a little bit more color. Okay. This is all. I like that. Let's see what happens over here. Let's see if it's going to curl up or sell up. I keep saying pearl. I'm so used to doing pearl pours. Give it a minute. I do like the colors. Could have pushed this off a little more but it's okay if i overwork it it's gonna not turn out as well sometimes you just have to be okay with the way it is you can try blowing it with a straw or your mouth but even then sometimes it's just not good bring it up a little bit Yeah, I like it. That pink is popping. I like where the black showed up. Um, it does look like, like it does need something right here, but I'm not going to mess with it. I think I'll just leave it. I think it looks better this way. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, let it sit a while. I'll bring you down um, again in about 10 minutes and see how it changes. So I'll be back. All right, guys, that's about it as far as um, I don't think it's going to sell up anymore. But remember, this is on paper. So if there's an area that you like better, you know, you could make two pictures out of this or cut it down cut the edges off that you don't like, um, cut a piece out that you don't like, and easily frame it. So really appreciate you watching. Take care. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my TikTok and my other videos. I have playlists for all the different techniques that I do. Please uh, be safe out there. Thanks for watching. See you later. Aloha. Bye.